Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Shenandoah. So in today's video, we are gonna be making wonton soup. Now I was inspired to make this dish by a video that I saw on YouTube. The video had 1.8 million views, you guys. Like that is a ton. So I wanted to recreate. And if you're interested to see how I make this wonton soup, you already know what to do. Go ahead and keep on watching. As you can see here, we have all of our aromatics. We're gonna go ahead and soak those in hot water for about 20 minutes. Next, we're going in with a wok, um, about a cup and a half of oil, and then we're gonna use some onions, some scallions, some ginger and so with the garlic you guys i just learned that it's very important to rinse your garlic off after you chop it up so that you get rid of the sticky um, coating so you definitely want to rinse that off in a sieve next we are going to dry these off fully throw those in there and then we're going to simmer everything for about 20 minutes we're gonna do this, keep a close eye and make sure that we stir frequently. That way we're not burning or browning the garlic or onion too fast. So this part here is a little tedious. We're gonna go ahead and pick out all of those um, aromatics that we used. And you guys, that oil there is liquid gold. It's gonna be your perfect garlic oil that we're gonna use to top this off at the end, but also to spice up or elevate any other dish that you may um, choose to make. So next, we are gonna go ahead and stir everything together. This is our filling. We have our ground chicken with the onion and garlic that we went ahead and fried up. We're gonna do some soy sauce, oyster sauce, some mirin, and a few other ingredients. Just quickly, if you are new here, all of the ingredients and the instructions will be listed down below in the description box, just in case I miss anything. Um, you'll always find all of the information and stuff that you need for each and every video down in the description box. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and throw in our chopped prawns. Um, I seasoned that up with a little bit of white pepper and some salt, green onions, some scallions, um, some chives, fresh chives if you have those. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this a mix. We wanna mix that up until it becomes really sticky. And that way you know that all of your ingredients are fully incorporated. So I am using these wonton papers, these wonton wrappers, as you can see here. I'm putting about a tablespoon or so of the filling into each one. And then essentially what you're gonna do is just squeeze these little things into purses, into like cute little purses, essentially. So when you squeeze them, smush them together with your finger, they just stick, no water necessary, super like not messy at all, just very quick and easy. What I like about these is they can be frozen. So as you see in the top left corner there, I'm filling up that plastic container and I'm gonna freeze whatever I don't use for today. And these are perfect because whether they're fresh or frozen, you can always tell when they're ready. You just plop them in and as soon as they float, they're ready. So what I'm gonna do first is create this whirlpool type of thing. That way when I drop the fresh um, wontons in, they're not gonna stick to the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and um, bring that to a boil. Once it comes to a boil and they start floating, I'm gonna throw in an extra cup of, half a cup of cold water, along with any of the veggies that I'm choosing to put in here. So as you see, I have bok choy, mushrooms, fried shallots, and wow, you guys, this dish was amazing. I hope you guys recreate. Do not forget to top it off with some of that delicious garlic oil and of course if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video bye bye mm -hmm. i said i like the dumpling things you do what do you like about them that they taste like dumplings <laughs>